everyone is shy um thank you so much everyone who commented and uh subscribed to my channel i really do appreciate it thank you for all the motivation that you guys given me um so today video i'm gonna go ahead and stuff my envelope and uh, my sinking funds today um and some of them some of my envelopes uh, I, because i start budgeting in june some of them are kind of like stuffed up and then some of them we're gonna start over or i added new so everything is kind of like starting over now uh so this is my wallet i got this wallet from amazon and i love it and then i got these envelopes from um etsy shop um so the first envelope that we is this, we gonna uh stuff is um e noni my older daughter's name start with e and then my younger one her nickname is noni so we're just gonna go ahead and stuff this this is for their spending just in case if they want starbucks or something like this oh before i start i just wanted to let you guys know that um the money that i um got from here here it's uh 15 25 and um Basically, you know, it, uh, it's from my paycheck and $1,000 are from my ch paycheck and then $525 is from my husband's paycheck. Um, I do have three bank accounts. So like the first bank account, all our paycheck goes there and we pay all the bills. So you're not going to see any envelopes with our bills in them because we paid the bills from that bank. And then whatever is left over after paying our bills, I take it out and then I do I i'm doing envelope stuffing with those and then once they get to a certain point i'll go ahead and deposit to my second bank which is almost like saving um kind of uh that you know we don't touch it unless we need it uh so um that's how it is so my husband do contribute but mostly like he pays the bills and then whatever's left over he would give it to me and uh this paycheck he did give me 525 dollars and then i had thousand dollars in here coming out of my paycheck and then i do have some money um i do work in the healthcare, so sometimes i pick up prn positions and everything that goes through my challenges comes from that paycheck so um i do have some uh, money kept aside but that's only for my challenges and we'll go over that eventually so the first envelope like i said it's um for my kids spending you know if they want starbucks or anything like that so we're gonna put 40 dollars in here 20 for the each kid because um every time i pick them up they want something so we're just there's nothing in here right now and then i'll put twenty dollars in here 20 each so it'll be forty dollars that i'm putting in here um and then next is food now this is only for me like in case if i want to eat out my lunch or something like that so that would go in here and um basically i would you know if I forget the lunch, I'll get that from here. So, which will be $25. I'm trying to cut that out because I think my downfall is eating out. And I think a lot has to do with, because I have so many health issues that sometimes I get tired of my own cooking and I want some someone else to cook for me. So, um, I maybe that's why sometimes I would eat out or, you know, would like something from out. Um, but I'm, I'm working on it. I, I'm trying to take lunch to to work so i don't spend that much money but right now we're gonna give 25 and eventually i'll try to cut that out the the next one is fun it's basically for me you know just in case if i want to go anywhere with my friends or any concert or anything like that i mean it's hard now but just in case it's for me just if i need something and i'll give myself 20 dollars anything fun so even like buying something for me for fun would be you know i can always use that money so we'll give you to 20 again it doesn't have anything in here um next one is spending and the spending is for me so pretty much i would you know if i need to buy shampoo or any beauty item for myself um new clothes or anything like that i would use this you know uh for for myself um obviously if my kids need it i would give it to them but um so 25 dollars would go in here and that would uh again nothing is in here and i would stuff that with 25 dollars um as far as gas go um i did had uh i have 50 dollars in here and i did had um basically 40 dollars but I did spend uh, $40 more, so I did spend $40 to fill up my gas, and then I was left with $50. So 
So, um, I had $90 in here and I spent $40. Um, so I, I'm left with $50. I did, you know, my tank is $50, but I only had $40 at that time. And I do have 50, so I'm just gonna give myself 20 and then we're gonna do two tens uh, for this one. Hopefully I don't need to fill up gas for maybe a week, I would say. But driving kids around and going to work, it doesn't happen. Um, this is miscellaneous. Now, I, this envelope is not dedicated to anything. It's just a cushion envelope kind of thing. If I need anything, if I run out of money in here, you know, if I went to grocery shopping and I don't have, if, you know, if sometimes you just need like a milk or something like that and you don't want to go through, you know, grocery envelope, then I would reach into this. I do not have anything in here and I will go ahead and give $50 to this envelope. Um, this is just in case I need anything um, that I have to reach out for if I'm running out of these envelopes that I would reach out to this. Next one is deposit. I don't have any money to deposit, but, you know, just in case if my envelopes reach a certain point where they're stuffed up where I have to deposit them in the bank, I would put them in this envelope. So um, my wallet is done. And then next uh, folder that we will stuff would be my folder this is called shy world it's dedicated to me something cute you know um and we will go ahead and start off uh, again some of these envelopes are stuffed because i did start stuffing envelopes in june and some of them are new and some of them are you know we're just gonna stuff now and it has nothing in them so uh the first one is beauty um this is stuff it has 200 dollars in here already um because I, um, I, I am going on vacation in two weeks, so I had to, I have to get my hair done and my nails done. So this one already has $200 in here and I am going to give myself $25 because that nails and hair cost a lot of money. So I'm going to give myself 20 and a five. And which will be. 225 so 100 1 2 3 4 5 200 20 and 5 so 225 dollars i do have a hair appointment next week and then i'm gonna go get my nails done um i i, I think this month and next month i am trying to do self-care for my mental health so i want to focus on self-care as far as you know being positive taking care of myself getting my nails done my hair done so um i think i do deserve you know because I, I do work a lot extra hours and picking up all the prn shifts and stuff like that so i think that i want to go ahead and take care of myself before i go on vacation so this envelope will be less next week uh the next envelope it it is a uh, ladies vacation i don't know if you could see this um, before last year, I had me and my few friends were gonna just go somewhere, but things didn't work out. And um, I, you know, I'm still saving up just in case that you know I would ever go back. Um, and we decided to go ladies' vacation. If not, then I'll just keep stuffing and you know hope for the best. And maybe one day. So this one already had um, forty dollars in uh, sixty dollars in here. And I am going to leave it in here. I am not going to stuff this envelope. So I am going to leave $60 in here. Um, I don't, I'm gonna, not going to stuff this because you need motivation sometimes to stuff envelopes. And right now I don't, there's, I would rather focus on like vacation that I'm taking with my family in two weeks. So I'd rather work on that. My next one is for Roth IRA. I'm trying to max out this year uh, with my Roth IRA. I do have 401k with my work, but then I still want to max out the Roth IRA. So I'm going to put money in here. And once it gets to 500, I'll deposit in the bank and go ahead and put it in um, Vanguard. So this one already had $300 in here. And I am going to uh, try to do $100. And, and so now it has $400 in here. And next paycheck, if I can do $100, then I'll go ahead and take this out and deposit in the bank. And send it to um, Roth. So that's that. 
Uh, next one is saving. Now, this saving is from a funny story. My husband asked me, why do you have your own saving? And I told him, just in case I ever want to run away on my own, I need something. Um, but funny thing is, it only has $40, so I'm not running too far, obviously. Um, so this one has $40 in here, and I am going to give it to $50. So I can run a little bit farther. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So now it has $90 in here. At least I can reach to Columbus, right? Cincinnati, maybe. So $90. Uh, next one is shopping for me. And um, I do have, um, let's see, $40 in here. And I, I am going to give myself $40 more because I do need to buy some clothes. I, because of health issue, I lost so much weight um, that I do need some pants and clothes that I need for vacation. So I am going to give myself $40, but I'm going to go ahead and do $20 in one, $10 in one, and $2 in five. So that will make it $40. Um, they say that sometimes bigger bills are hard to break than the smaller bills. So I am going to actually get smaller bills so I can actually spend money because I do need clothes. I, I Either I wear my scrubs or pajamas. I, I do need like clothes. So shopping now has $80 in here. Um, I don't know when I'm going to go to the mall, but I'm going to buy something. Next one is um, for my sister-in-law. She works in retail, so sometime I would ask her to buy stuff for my kids, you know, to get her discount, especially back to school and stuff. And I would give her that money because she, you know, would use her credit card for the discount. So I do, um, we'll go ahead and stuff so I can pay her back. Now, this one doesn't have any money in it. This is a new envelope, so it doesn't have any money in it. And I am going to put $50 in here because back to school is coming up and I am going to ask her to buy some shoes for my uh, kids, you know, um, and even for my younger one, she's grown out of her boots, obviously. So I am going to put money in there. And then next one is investment. Um, I do stock investments and sometimes options trading. I know there's a one lady uh, also on YouTube that also does option trading and stocks and stuff like that. So I also do it. I started last year. Um, so learning, learning process, but I do have um, money that I invest. And right now it has $200 in here. Uh, and then I am going to give it $100. And um, then I'm going to, once it's $500, I'm going to again transfer it in the bank and put it in Vanguard to buy some stocks. So I have Roth IRA and regular investment through Roth, um, through Vanguard. And then next one is grocery. Now, this is our family grocery. Um, it's easier to put in this envelope, so I put it in here. This one only had $100 in here. Um, I haven't gone grocery shopping for a couple of weeks, only because um, I haven't been feeling too good. And so my mother-in-law has been cooking a lot for me and sending over. So, you know, we have $100 in here, but I do need to go grocery shopping sooner. So I am going to put $100 in here because we go to two grocery stores. One, we go to Giant Eagle or Aldi or stuff like that. And then we also go to Pakistani grocery store to get our spices and like bread and stuff that we need. So that's why I'm going to put $100 in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give myself $4.20. Um, oh. Four twenties and two tens to make it a hundred. So let's go ahead and count. I have hundred dollars in here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So now I have two hundred dollars in grocery shopping. I think this weekend or next week I am gonna go grocery shop. Um, you know, because when kids are home, they always need food. So this envelope is pretty much done. My next envelope is from my little girls. I have two girls. One is 11. The other one is um, four years old. And so the first one is my older one saving, saving uh, for her. And um, 
if this one was like I start stuffing saving pretty much so this one is already stuffed at $150 in here and I am gonna put $50 so see and then I'm gonna put $50 in here to make it 200 so now she has $200 in here we try to do 50 but some some weeks it's hard to do it um, but we try our best um, next one is for my older one's activity She's, she plays a lot of, she dances and she plays a lot of sports. So I try to save up. So when it's time for me to make that payment and register her, I'm not stuck paying for it. And like during that time, I'm, it's not hard on me to, you know, try to find money. Um, so it has $50 in here already. And I am going to give $20 to make it $50, $60, $70. So now it's $70 in here. Next is uh, my daughter's school. She does go to private school. Um, so this this year, the 2021 and 22 is already paid for because you have to pay in June before they get out of school. Um, but I'm saving up for next year because this year I had a really hard time coming up with the amount. Um, so I decided to go ahead and start now every little so that I'm not trying to like look for money next year. Um, and this one already has uh let's see two hundred fifty so this one already has three hundred dollars in here and I am gonna give a hundred so hundred two hundred three hundred fifty sixty seventy eighty nine and then four hundred so this one is now four hundred dollars and I think I made a mistake um, so four hundred dollars in her school next is my daughter's older one's health she she cannot see much without her glasses so we eventually will get a laser um, she's 11 now so probably in a couple of years but I'm trying to save up just in case if my insurance does not cover for it so I want to go ahead and save up for that and this one has $60 in here, and I am going to give a 20 to make it $80. And then also in case if she decided to get contacts, because we, we do get her glasses, but just in case if she decided to get contacts or something like that, I can take the money out of here. Uh, this is for invest her investment. She... Because last year when I got into stocks, she started getting into stocks too when she started learning about it. So she likes to invest. Um, so every little time, you know, I try to put money in here for her, whatever I can. And right now it has $20 in here. And I am going to give um, $20 to make it 40 And then I'll go ahead and then find, try to find an account for her and where I can buy, um, uh, what should I call it? Uh, you know, like not the whole share, but like partial share for her, you know, because obviously everything is so expensive, the stock wise. So just maybe like partial just to just to get her started. But I'm still um, researching. So if anybody has any kind of information, please let me know. This is for my older ones shopping. Back to school is coming up and I was trying to stuff this envelope. So it has hundred dollars in here already. And I am going to give twenty dollars to this envelope. So I'm going to do one ten and two fives oh i ran out of five so we're just gonna do okay we're just gonna do um actually i'm just gonna go ahead and give it a ten dollars so 110 dollars i will have some leftover but i think i messed up somewhere so we're just gonna give it 110 dollars um And just start back to school shopping. It's a couple of weeks. School starts in August, like next month. Um, the next one is for my little one. Now, you know, she's four years old. Uh, she also, I started saving for her. Um, and right now this one has $100 in here. And I am going to give it a 50 so to make it $150. So $150 for her. And then 
next one is her activities she's not in any activities right now but maybe from the fall i put her in gymnastic i'm not sure but this one only has twenty dollars in here and i am gonna give um twenty dollars to this so i am gonna give two tens so this will make it forty dollars Um, she is not starting school next year. She still go to daycare, um, uh, but I'm in case if she, if we decided to send her to the same private school, we sent our older one. It starts from kindergarten. Um, I'm just saving up for that and little by little. So this one already has hundred dollars in here and I am going to give it a 20, so $120. Again, she doesn't start school this year. Uh, so I'm going to go slow on this one, um, because she's only four years old. And then the next one is shopping for her. Like I said, she she you know she grew and then her winter boots or nothing fits her anymore. So we probably will go ahead and shop around for her. She has twenty dollars and I have to get a winter coat for her and um, some fall stuff. So I am gonna give it a fifty for her. Uh, it's fifty, sixty, seventy because I was stuffing for my older one for back to school, so I didn't stuff her. So now she has seventy dollars in here and I can buy those boots and stuff like that. Um, next one is you and me, like my husband and I, family kind of thing. And I'll go quick because I know this video gets longer. Uh, saving for us, we I should already have uh, $200 in here, right here. And then I would give it $100 to make it a $300 for us. Again, once this envelope stuff up to like certain amount, like $500 or $600, I'll go ahead and take it out, deposit in the bank. Uh, next one is the remodel home. We've been living in our home for a couple of years now, and it seems like now things, we're getting a little bit wear and tear. We need a new washer, dryer. Um, so I am trying to work with this. It has $100 in here already, and I'm gonna get a $50. And um, I think we have to find out like, which washer dryer are we gonna buy because I I think now it's time we need to buy a new washer dryer. So we'll start slow, 150. Next one is vacation. Now again, this vacation was planned out for a while, so I start stuffing for it in June. Um, this will be gone um, next next week because we are going on vacation next week and I'm gonna use that money. This one has $400 in here and I'm gonna give it $100. To make it 500 so one two three three fifty and then so what am i counting 100 200 300 350 4 450 and then 500 so 550 500 550 i wish 500 in here next one is pakistan you know, um, as you guys can tell, I have an accent. I'm from Pakistan, and we were, were going to go visit in Pakistan, but things didn't work out last year. Um, but I'm saving up for it just in case we decide to go next year. Uh, so this is, I have $160 already in here, and I'm going to give it a $40. So we're going to do two tens in here. And now I have 100 200 250 Oh, I have extra hundred in here. Let's take this out. I don't know why I have extra hundred in here. Um, huh, well, I'm gonna put it in my saving bin. So hundred, hundred fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two hundred. So now I have two hundred dollars in here, uh, and I can put that hundred dollars in saving or maybe keep it for next week. Um, this is for our health, my husband and I. This one has $20 in here, and I am going to give it another $20 to make it a $40 now. So we have $40. Um, next one is our emergency fund, and this one should already have $400 in here. One, two, three, four, and I am going to give it $100. To make it 500 now, one, two, three, four, 450, 500. 
Now, once I get $2,000 in here, I'll go ahead and take this money out and deposit it in the bank. Next one is family eating out. Um, we haven't eaten out for a while because I wasn't feeling good and I was working a lot. Uh, so this one already has $60 in here and I am going to give it a 20. Hopefully this year, this weekend we can go to a fair. There's a county fair that's in our town and my kids love going and eating fair food. So we can do that, uh, use that over there. And family fun should have $40 in here. And I am going to give it a 20, which will make it a $60. Next is gift. My husband's birthday is tomorrow, so I'll try to get this money out and buy something. But right now I have $60 in here, and I will give it a 20 to make it $80, okay? And next one is car maintenance. And um, my, my car is new, but my husband's is a little bit older it's paid off but you know you always need something this one already has um 120 40 and 50. so car maintenance already has 120 40 50 and we're gonna keep it that way and leave it at that so um that's all for all the envelopes um, I am going to keep this $100 that I have for either a challenge or um, use it next week because um, we never know how much the paycheck is going to be next week because, you know, my, if I'm working PR and shift or if I'm getting enough hours or, you know, if I'm sent home early or um, same thing with my husband, like you don't know. So we're just going to like leave it for next week and use that for something um and thank you so much for all your support my next video i'll go ahead and talk about my challenges i do have a few challenges already um that i i've started and i'm trying to like i said that in this challenges i am you know the money that i'm working with is you know the shift that i work as a prn shifts um i do keep it or extra over time that i work sometime I would keep that money and use it for my 100 envelope stuffing or all the challenges. So next video, I'll go ahead and explain my challenges. Thank you for watching this video. You know, please give any kind of comments, any kind of advice you want to give me. Try to like the video or subscribe if you want to. Any kind of advice. And then again, thank you so much. Stay blessed. Thank you.